Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover dividing whole numbers by unit fractions. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now, when we model these division problems, this helps us visualize and better understand what's going on within these problems. So let's jump into number one here, where we have five divided by a half. And I do wanna mention, when I say unit fractions, that means the numerator of the fraction has to be one. So one half, one fourth, one tenth, so on and so forth. So this video will be unit fractions. I will have other videos dealing with other situations. I'll drop those links down in the description. So back to number one, five divided by a half. So we're starting with five holes. And as you can see, I have five whole circles below the problem. So we need to divide each of those holes in half. Now, you don't have to use circles. You can use any shape. I find circles, squares, or rectangles to be the easiest. And when we divide, we want to divide in half and make two equal pieces, or as close to equal as possible. So I'm cutting in half. I'm cutting vertically. It doesn't really matter how you cut them in half as long as you cut them in half. So for example, you could go side to side horizontal if you wanted. So once we divide each of those five holes in half, we need to count how many pieces we have now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that's our answer. So five divided by a half equals 10. We started with five holes, so we divided each of those in half and ended up with 10 pieces. So on to number two, where we have two holes divided by one third. So we have our two holes here. We did rectangles for number two, and we need to divide each of those by one third. So into thirds, into thirds, and now we need to count how many pieces we have. Well, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So our answer to two divided by one third equals six. Now this video was about modeling these problems. If you wanna learn how to do these without the models, I dropped that link down in the description. But for now, I hope this helped with modeling dividing whole numbers by unit fractions. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.